Welcome to this edition of the El Segundo City Council Recap. I'm your host, Egirio De Leo. Let's take a look at the items presented to the El Segundo City Council at their June 20th, 2023 meeting. During special presentation, Police Chief Jaime Bermudez introduced the department's new crime prevention analyst, Serena Boscovich. Following public communications, City Manager Daryl George provided an update on the city's efforts to address the ongoing odors and nauseous gases coming from the Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant. On June 21st, Assembly Bill 1216 will be heard at the Senate Environmental Quality Committee meeting. Councilmember Ryan Baldino will attend to provide testimony supporting the bill on behalf of the city. AQMD held a hearing board meeting today regarding Hyperion and the city will share the outcome once AQMD issues its proposed findings and decision. AQMD is also aware of raised levels of H2S that registered on Hyperion's fence line monitors on June 19th and is investigating the matter. Information about Hyperion can be found on the city's website at www.elsegundo.org slash Hyperion. During public hearings, Recreation, Parks and Library Director Ali Mancini conducted a public hearing for the adoption of a new private instructor policy and permit fee of $15 per hour for instructors utilizing recreation or library park to conduct one-on-one -on -one instruction. During staff presentations, Police Chief Jaime Bermudez presented an overview of the El Segundo Police Department, including crime data, operational challenges, impact of recent legislation, technology use, and adjusted patrol areas to address these challenges. Chief Bermudez requested increased staffing from 62 to 72 officers. City Council discussed the long-term and budgetary implications of the staffing increase before receiving and filing the report and approving the request for additional staffing. Recreation leader Ryan Delgado presented a proposed pilot public transportation program for residents called El Segundo Connect. Based on community feedback and transportation committee recommendations, the program will offer 16 stops throughout El Segundo Monday through Friday and will be free to residents during this pilot phase. City Council approved the pilot program which will operate from September 15th to November 15th of 2023 and also will be evaluated for adjustments. Human Resource Director Rebecca Reddick presented a resolution to establish a part-time communications coordinator position who will assist the communications manager in community outreach efforts. The position is already part of the city's budget and headcount. City Council approved the resolution. Public Works Director Elias Sassoon and staff from IBI Group presented a project status update regarding the plunge. Since the January 2023 presentation, the design has been revised to address a pool leak, roof replacement, pool mechanical equipment, and includes a locker room with private family room. The design is 85% complete and is expected to be finalized in September 2023. It is anticipated that the bidding for construction of the project will begin in the first quarter of 2024. City Council noted that the project is currently not fully funded and advised staff to bring a one sheet back to Council showing where the current funding shortfall will come from and when. City Council received and filed the update. Human Resource Director Rebecca Reddick presented a resolution approving and adopting the Memorandum of Understanding or MOU between the City of El Segundo and the El Segundo Police Support Services Employees Association. The MOU includes cost of living adjustments, increased vacation, accrual, and personal leave, and increased city contributions for CalPERS medical premiums. City Council approved the resolution. Finally, during committees, commissions, and boards, Mayor Drew Boyles announced the appointment of Jeanette Gann to the Recreation and Parks Commission. To watch the complete City Council meeting for June 20th, 2023, and learn more about the agenda items covered, visit elsegundo.org or watch the meeting on Channel 3. City Council is scheduled to take their summer recess during the month of July and the first week of August. The next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, August 15th. 